Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time, I want to talk to you about the Make Toys In Game Dirge, and this is their fourth seeker, their first conehead in a series of the three coneheads that are going to be put out this year. Hopefully, I did get this at Show Z. It's uh, about $120, $119, and I'll put a link in the description. Let's get into this. Here is the box, and that's what it looks like right there. MTRM15 in-game. Now this isn't from the Marvel Universe either. So, there's the side of it. Yeah, get the job done. So here he is in his jet mode, and the thing that surprised me, for some reason I was thinking that there would be a lot of paint on it, and there is not a lot of paint on it. And that surprised me, but I do like shiny plastic, so shiny plastic is good, better than dull plastic, and it looks okay. Look, he fits the part. Definitely the colors match up. The Everything seems to look good in the jet mode, and I'm gonna show you a couple of things we can do here and there. Um, I'm afraid to take this landing gear down too much. Feels like if I push any more, it's gonna break, so my landing gear a little uneven on that but aside from that not too bad and he looks pretty good there's some paint on the cockpit up here nice uh that's just plastic too it's not painted at all and you can open the cockpit if you want so it's got an opening cockpit in there not no seat or anything um you know i just reviewed the fans toys goose and just fans toys goose has some extra little things that I just kind of thought you'd have on this guy and and you don't so uh, a little different I mean make toys they've got this secret mold down they should have it down pat and here it is so they include these extra small missile pieces and so you can just pop the null rays off and slide them on on both sides and that makes it look a little bit better, I guess. So I actually like the longer missiles better myself, but this is the way they show it. This is the way, and they include that just for that look. Huh, I'm not sure. Of course, it looks more symmetrical when you have it like that. So I can see why they included that. Size-wise, he's about the same size as a regular Seeker. So here he is next to Hot Rod my usual suspect and there it goes before we get into transforming him I do want to show that you could actually remove this head and make this entire nose cone hold together better just the way the heads in there it it's not holding together hundred percent simply because that head is just, just a little bit too big for the cockpit area so that won't quite hold together on its own but hey if you want to pop the head out of there that's something you could do all right so transforming this is the complete opposite of what you would do to of course put it into airplane mode and so we're going to disconnect all of the wing stuff um, let's go ahead go ahead and take off all of these bombs missiles so we can do that and then disconnecting. So this is on a slider and it's connected with a tab. So you wanna untab it and then slide it down. I'll do that on both sides. That's done. Now you can fold these tabs here at the bottom up. Right now, just get it out of the way. And I like doing legs first. That's just the way I operate. So we're gonna go and open up these leg pieces. And we're going to double ratchet them down. And I'm gonna split them and do them one at a time. The whole point is that you can, you have to get the leg aligned right so that you can get this piece tabbed in. So you want this tab here facing straight out. 
and doing that, okay, there it goes. It's facing straight out, and then you're going to, the tab is facing straight out right there, and then there's a hole right in here, and that'll tab right in. Oh, so that'll tab in, that'll give it the stability it needs. And do the same thing on the other side. Line this tab up, see it's, it's not straight out, it's straight up right now. You need to work it in there to where it's, to where it's straight out while you have this blue piece up. Hard to get that all on camera. And there we go. So then you have to work the feet out. And it's on a double ratchet also. And it's worked down on both sides. There it goes. Now we got some feet. Start working on the upper body. I'm gonna get these out of the way. Kind of move them. There's really no out of the way with these mini wing pieces here. And then we're going to double ratchet this up so we can get the arms out. So with that, we're going to lift these air intakes, air and fakes, fake air intakes, air and fakes. Let's make sure that we've got this out of the way. So we've got the arm out and then do that on both sides. Slide the arm out. Now they're on sliders, so you need to slide them up. And then that's going to get them completely out of the way of this whole mechanism here. And get that back and out of the way there. Now, with this, I'm going to show you on this uh, side panel. Mine fell off, so I have it somewhere. Mine fell off on this side, and so I'm gonna wait till I'm done to put it back on. I need to glue it, but uh, you know I, I would need 24 hours to let it set. The other one is glued in. This one, I guess the glue just didn't take, so. Anyway, moving into getting these pieces here folded down. Let's get to where we can see what's going on here. And so they're gonna fold down, and this is gonna make the abdominal area And there's that, same thing over here. Fold that and then turn this into the abdominal area. There he is. And we're gonna work on this upper area. So let me adjust the camera. So first you wanna open up these flaps here, which they're gonna kinda open on their own anyway. And then we can fold open everything so we can see what we're working with here. And on the bottom, slide this piece up and out. And then this filler piece, this is a fake faux piece right there, can come up. And then we can fold this in to to there. And then we gotta get the head out. So, out comes the head. This is the scary part of this transformation. I'm gonna hold this piece as I spin this around and make sure everything clears as I'm spinning it. That's the scary part of this transformation. Work it back into place. Slide this assembly down, and then it's double joint it back up. And we have to get that waist part in there. Let's make sure we got the abdomen lined back up.
All right, now we can rotate this down on itself. Lift these back pieces up to put it in place. And it tabs in, so there's a tab here, and then there's a tab here and a pull there, and that'll tab into place. Turn around, let's finish working on this back area. We've got to flip this around like so. And then you fold this nose cone down the back there. My head popped off, so I'm gonna pop it back on. All right, so with the arms, you're gonna slide them out of the shoulder and fix up the hands. Probably one of the simplest transformations. I guess that wasn't in all the way. Same thing over here. Slide them out of the shoulders, flip that out, rotate the hand. And you pretty much got yourself the end of the end game. So let's look at him in his robot mode. And he definitely fits the character. He looks like the Conehead Dirge. And I'm going to point out a few things when we do a comparison with uh, the Takara version. But I, I like the head sculpt. I like the face. The face looks really good. I think that's one of the best things that they did. The paint and the eyes and all that stuff. It looks really good. You've got paint right up here. That's all paint. And then, of course, that's from the cockpit. And it's sort of like, I don't know, a crazy faux cockpit thing that they got going on there. And then, uh, looking down here, I like the paint on the knee pads. Uh, but I'm not a fan of huge knee pads. I guess we can fold those in. And then, really, no paint down here. This is like plastic. Maybe this is painted. Nope, that's plastic too. I'm not going to mess with that. That looks like it will fall off. And then there's some paint on the feet itself. And the feet are double ratcheted in there. And then here's from the back. And put the wings out further if you want. There's a butt flap. If you want to like get rid of it or whatever. I don't know. However you want to do with that butt flap there. But yeah, I mean overall he fits the character. Fits the bill. Definitely works on a shelf. And let's get into articulation. Head goes down a little bit, up a lot, and you can get a 360s on a ball joint. Uh, shoulder out to the 90, and you could swivel all the way around, whatever needed. And then you have the thigh swivel, like as expected. You have the elbow double hinged. The hands flip around on the mushroom peg, and they have the, you have a, Articulated trigger finger, no articulation in ah, no articulation in the thumb at all, and the three fingers pin. So there's that. Down here you have swivel a bit, and you could use the transformation to get whatever ab crunch you want. That is a transformation thing, but hey, there goes that flap again. And I have to glue the flat back in. I mean, really, I'm getting mad at it because it's just like a little glue didn't hold. That's not the end of the world on such a complex transformation, right? Well, it really wasn't that complex. Getting down here to the legs, though, let's lift this flap up here. And it goes really tight. But you get your 90 out of it almost. And then you could probably do 90 to the back. It's really hard to manipulate with these knee pads in the way. And then that's ratcheted, but the no ratchet to the side, which is fine. And you have a universal right here that gets you all of that good stuff. You're not, you, you get, okay, you could, all, all right, back, pass the 90, but you could also uh, disconnect some of this stuff and get even more than that. But I wouldn't need it. I don't think it'd be stable for poses or anything. You do have the ankle tilt, rocker, everything that you would expect from a masterpiece. And then let's look real quick at these faces. So we've got face number one. That's like he got goosed, like Fansway's goosed. I'm like, ooh, ooh, Fansway's goosed me. And then we've got this face, which is kind of a laughing face. Like, <laughs> Starscream finally told a good joke. 
And then we've got this face, which is like, looks like he's proud of himself. Like, yeah, I just, I just won. Yeah, I won. And then that face is like, uh, uh, what was it me? <laughs> so those are the faces. First comparison I want to get into is with Takara. Now this of course is not the same character. It's the only Takara conehead I own, so that's why I'm using them. But the difference is uh, feeling these Takara feels lighter. So Make Toys does have some weight on Takara, which is a good thing. And then also uh, just Takara is not very well painted itself. I mean, I think it looks okay. It looks great. It looks fine. But this one here, my biggest complaint is that it's just kind of like shiny plastic, like you would get from a McFans Toys figure from the Legend scale. But the problem is that Takara didn't do a whole lot better. So with that whole mentality there, then I guess, uh, yeah. And let's look at the back of it real quick. The other complaint I was gonna have about this guy, so the reason I didn't complain about this was because like Takara's got all kinds of like just kibble hanging off the back and he's got some kibble hanging off the back. It's not that clean. So that was like kind of a complaint of mine. But then when I look at Takara's, I'm like, that car didn't do a whole lot better either. So I mean like what's the expectation? And I think I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So let's look at him next to Starscream and uh, Starscream does shine a lot more. I do think that uh, Starscream just felt like a game changer. When you got Starscream, he was a game changer. Like, look, this red's all painted. That's, maybe that is painted, but it just doesn't, because of the color, doesn't look painted. This is all painted, or it looks like it's painted. And so it's just like, this seemed like a game changer. This seems like maybe, uh, like, presentation-wise, a step back from uh, Starscream. Now, Starscream had a really dumb looking head. So this is the head that came with the uh, MP44 and I just retrofit to make it work. Now there is a bunch of kibble on the back here, but overall it looks clean. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, we know that's kibble, but anyway, it's the same kibble more or less. I think maybe just cause it's all one uniform color. It didn't bother me as much when I got this one. But uh, one thing I want to point out, you got wing fillers here and I'm gonna have to tell you that all the fuss people made about the wing fillers and it's just not that big of a deal. Uh, to me, I put them on and I'm like, eh, it wasn't that huge of an improvement. It's not that big of a deal. I would have never sprung for it. I would have never paid for the wing fillers. But the fact that they came for free, it's really nice. Now here he is next to the toy world. And the thing about this is that I think the toy world has a lot more paint and looks more interesting. And this is where I kind of feel like a bit of a hypocrite. I like the look of Toy World, but this is more cartoon accurate. And so that's kind of where I see why some people say they don't want to go too super hypertune, which I think this is hypertune. So that might be, uh, I might not be in the hypertune realm, but I think it looks good. But I, I think this is a more interesting look that Toy World has. But a lot of people's problem is Toy World is just a bit too tall. So this is where the problem lies with the Toy World, as Coneheads shouldn't be taller than Megatron, but I don't know, I'm okay with it. Like, I'm, I'm okay with the height of the Toy World, and but this one actually matches like the Sunbow Char a little bit better, probably the animation a little bit better, so it's kind of one of those things that, yes, Make Toys is much closer to Cartoon. So this is the Make Toys Dirge, or in-game, their version of Dirge, and He's a pretty good looking figure. This is really close to a cartoon accurate version as I can get. I do like the face sculpt on it. I do like the colors look good. I like how it just matches up really well. And you know this is that character. You know this is who it is when you see him. But he has a couple of QC issues like the, the hip skirts like to pop off, but the, the side skirts that uh, I need to glue back in, uh, the glue just didn't take on that, and then a couple of few minor issues here and there, which, you know, I'm worried about Make Toys. I really want Make Toys to stay in the game, I want to see their Headmasters, I want to see them finish all of these, and, you know, hopefully Make Toys, you know, they got their Guardia uh, reissue coming, so with a lot of stuff going on with Make Toys, I want to see them 
uh, succeed. I do not want to see them fail. With a couple of these QC issues, if this is your first Make Toys, you might be a little turned off by if you have the same issues I had. But anyway, he looks good. He fits the part. He fits the build. The transformation is pretty simple. It's a little confusing with the helicoptering metal pieces, but you can get yours at Show Z for $119. Like, subscribe, to Dare Hanger out.